Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In my previous video, I used one galvanometer to show the induced current in a coil due to change in the magnetic flux. Galvanometers are usually used to measure the current and they are also used to find the direction in which the current flow. This is the the galvanometer used by me in the last video. It can measure the current and also it can show the direction in which the current flow. This kind of galvanometer is called as moving coil galvanometer. In today's video, we will learn about one more type of galvanometer called as tangent galvanometer. Tangent galvanometers are used to measure even a small current flowing in circuit. This device is known as tangent galvanometer. It is a kind of moving magnet galvanometer. In this device, when you use this to measure current, the magnet moves. So it is called as moving magnet galvanometer. It works on the principle of tangent law. Tangent law says that when a magnet or magnetic needle suspended freely in a two mutually perpendicular magnetic fields, it aligns itself in a resultant of these two fields. We call it as a tangent law. Now, if you look at the construction, it consists of a circular frame made of some kind of non-magnetic material such as brass, wood or even plastic. This uh, vertical circular frame consists of several turns of, or currently speaking, it consists of uh, turns of enameled copper wire wound on this. Usually, uh, the tangent galvanometer that we use in the lab have three different turns of coil. It is obvious from here. If you look at this, it consists of four knobs. Letter two, number two is written here between these two knobs. That shows that starting from here till this uh, knob. Two turns of enameled copper wire runs through this circular frame. And here number 50 shows that between these two knobs, 50 turns of enameled copper wire of a different uh, thickness runs over or wounded over this uh, uh, circular frame. And uh, Number 500 shows that between these two knobs, enameled copper wire of 500 turns is wound on this uh, circular frame. If you connect the circuit to this uh, tannin calorimeter using these two knobs, that means you are passing current through two turns of wire. Here, these three turns of enameled copper wire have different thickness and they are used to measure current of various intensity. Now, this circular frame, as you can see, here, is placed on a base. This base is a kind of a turntable. It can rotate in this manner. It is provided with a three leveling screws. Three leveling screws. They can be adjusted to make the instrument exactly plain. It can be checked with the help of a split level. 
Now, uh, remove this. Here you can see an upright projection. This upright projection is to hold this uh, magnetic compass. It is used to hold this magnetic compass, which is otherwise known as magnetometer box. Now, it's placed in this manner. Now, if you look at the If you look at uh, this magnetic compass, you may find uh, it consists of a small magnetic needle. It is bit very small. Such that when it is placed here, it can come within a uniform magnetic field produced by passing current through this coil and uh, here there is a an aluminium pointer mounted perpendicular to this uh, magnetic needle this magnetic needle is pivoted on a sharp edge like uh, this now uh, here i have a sharp uh, pin, if I place this uh, magnetic needle in this manner, I can say that I have pivoted this magnetic needle on this sharp pin. I hope you, you would have understood what is the meaning of pivoted. Now, very important thing you need to know about this compass. This compass has got a circular graduated scale. It has got a circular graduated scale which has got four quadrants uh, divided into four quadrants. 0 to 90 is one quadrant. From here 0 to 90 is the second quadrant. 0 to 90 third quadrant. Again 0 to 90. Here it's the fourth quadrant. On this uh, circular scale the, the aluminum pointer move this is how we measure the angle to which it has moved while reading the current and uh, one more thing if you look at uh, the back side the bottom of this uh, aluminum pointer you may find a, a plane mirror this plane mirror is used here to avoid parallax error while re taking the reading now place it here now i will uh, tell you what are the precautions to be taken while using this instrument the first precaution we need to take is uh, we should avoid the presence the presence of any kind of magnetic material around this instrument is highly sensitive if there is any magnet or magnetic material around the vicinity of this instrument it will malfunction so we need to avoid the magnetic materials from the surrounding second thing the coil the vertical coil should be adjusted and placed in such a way that it exactly come above this small magnetic needle. Third, rotate this magnetic compass such that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. And next thing, level the screws such that when you place a split level on the compass, the bubble in the split level should be at the, at the center. So, level it in this way. See, the bubble has come to the center. This shows that the compass is kept exactly perpendicular, or I'm sorry, exactly parallel to the surface. Otherwise, what will happen if it is not plane? 
there the aluminum pointer will touch the circular scale and it will not show the exact reading. Let me provide more information about tangent galvanometer. As I told you earlier, it works on the principle of tangent law and it is used to measure even a small current flowing through the circuit. What is this tangent law? Where a magnet or magnetic needle, like here we have a magnetic needle. This magnetic needle, when I placed in the setup, if I pass current through this coil, it produces magnetic field in this direction. There is one more magnetic field due to earth. I take a horizontal component of earth's magnetic field. This magnetic field acts in this direction. Earth's horizontal component of magnetic field acts in this direction. When this magnetic needle is placed in these two mutually perpendicular magnetic fields, it comes to rest along the resultant. So this is the, the magnetic needle. It makes an angle theta with the Earth's horizontal component of magnetic field. Um, we know a trigonometric equation. The tan theta is nothing but the ratio of opposite side and adjacent side. Now, in the right angle triangle, the opposite side is given by this part. I have drawn a dotted line here, which is exactly parallel to this line. So if it is B, then it will also be represented by the same letter B that I take here, the opposite side. And the adjacent side is nothing but this. In the adjacent side, we have BH. Now I mentioned that one here. So we got the equation tan theta equals to B upon BH. This is the tangent law. Now from that, B value is obtained to be equal to BH tan theta. Now I box this. This gives me the magnetic field produced by the coil when I allow current to pass through it. Um, in my next video, I will show you how to get the value of B. I mean, here the value of B, value of B, which is nothing but the magnetic field produced by a circular coil, is found to be equal to nu naught n i upon 2r. Here, mu naught is the permeability of free space and n represents number of turns. It may be 2, 50 or 500. If you have connected the circuit to these two knobs, then n value will be 2. And R is the radius of this circular frame on which the winding is done. And I is the amount of current flowing through the circular coil. So, I take this one as equation number 1. This as equation number 2. Now, I am going to substitute the equation number 2 in 1. So, what I get? I get this. The place of BL for the equation number 2. So, mu naught n i upon 2 r equals to 
bh tan theta here bh is horizontal component of earth's magnetic field what is that um, we know earth behaves as a giant magnet it has magnetic field around it this magnetic field is circular in shape it has got uh, both the horizontal as well vertical component we have taken only horizontal component here now if uh, my aim is to measure the current then i will keep uh, i on the left side and i'll take a remaining terms to the right side of the equation okay i keep uh, i here the remaining terms are taken to this side to so bh tan theta now here this terms there is a multiplying here when it come to the next side it will divide b not here it has come to denominator here on the left side it is present on the numerator for well, the term 2r is the present on the denominator when i take this to the right side it will multiply it will go to the numerator 2r will happen so now so slightly i rearrange it a bh yeah 2r upon mu not n take this within a bracket then tan theta is a written here now this a part is a constant represented by letter k why it is constant let me tell you here bh is a constant it is not going to change and 2r the radius of the coil is also a constant the number of turns if it is 2 it is going to remain 2 throughout the experiment it is a constant mu not permeability of free space is also a constant so the entire term is taken as a constant represented by letter k so this equation will take a new form i is equal to k tan theta this you here you get an equation to measure the current flowing through the circuit now the same thing can be used to get the value of bh you know uh, <coughs> i take the this equation to get the value of bh so what i'll do i'll keep a bh one side here as such the remaining remaining things or i'll do one thing instead of a from here right from uh, this equation i'll try to find the value of bh you see for that i keep a bh this side as such for better understanding uh, then i will take uh, this term alone to this side it is multiplying here when it is taken to the left hand side it will divide so this term this term is present here mu not n i upon 2r so tan theta is brought this side that will divide so this is the the equation used to measure bh used to find the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field now i rearrange it this equation uh, bh is equal to mu not then i upon 2r 1 upon tan theta i box this equation Uh, i hope uh, this video is useful if you have any kind of doubt related to the topic kindly put your questions in the comment section thanks for watching